Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Elisa, I am an intuitive love coach. And in today's video, we're gonna do a tapping sequence to really help you attract emotionally available men and partners. Are you excited? I am so excited to do this video, so. Okay, so why is this important? Because we deserve better, right? Like the whole world deserves better. And it's a topic that is so insightful and so many, so full of different nuances. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you receive notifications when I upload new videos on this topic. I invite you to do this tapping sequence as many times as you want. And also, I'm gonna be real, if you feel like this is an area where you want to shift things around completely, make sure you reach out to me. You know, I have spaces available for to work with people privately um, or in small intimate group programs where I can help you not only as an intuitive coach, but also as somebody who does energy work, energy healing, different layers. I'm passionate about helping you heal this completely. I wanna help you stop attracting toxic, emotionally unavailable men. Also, I invite you to look at my videos too because I address attracting um, emotionally unavailable or, or toxic men in different forms um, on my videos. So just binge watch them, you know, like just, just go for it because um, I want you to feel empowered in your love life and I want you to succeed in love. I'm going to start with the tapping sequence. I'm just going to give you kind of like a preview um, or an understanding of why this happens. Um, I feel like as souls, we're struggling a lot with um, what feminine energy, like connecting with our feminine energy and understanding the value of it. So there's this huge misconception around feminine energy. Um, we are spiritual beings in a body right and that means that but love is also spiritual energy it's not a mind energy it's not an egoic energy and when you look around you see a lot of people who treat love from ego you need to do this for me you need to work for me if i have this woman or if i have this man i'm going to have power i'm going to have status it happens to all of us i think when we address love energies we're always going to notice you know that impulse towards the survival energy what we've learned over the years or maybe um you know hundreds or thousands of years like what's like in the dna the survival impulse um and the ideas of like looking for power looking for fame looking for recognition whether it's a woman with a man or a man with a woman about seeking power and having control versus what the soul is saying right if you're feminine, you're feminine. If you're masculine, you're masculine. If you're balanced, you're balanced. But it's about connecting with the acceptance of what you are and also addressing it at a soul level. Like your soul is going to want to give. Your soul is not going to be about competition. Your soul is not going to be about looking for fame or power or status. That's the small self. That is the ego self. That is the inner child that is confused. But when you understand that you're a soul, you ask yourself and you hold yourself to a certain integrity or honor about how do I need to show up in love? It is always about giving and receiving love. It is not about power. It is about knowing who you are, knowing what you want, and allowing yourself to attract it. This is why it's so important to work on love, to dedicate time every day on love and not just address it when there is an emergency. The more you can create introspection around what your needs are, what your vulnerabilities are, the easier it is it's going to be for you to attract the type of love that you want, okay? So introspection is good. Be grateful even for those things that make you cringe. Love yourself through it. Love yourself through it. Uh, you, you have to love yourself so that you can see if whatever is there unconscious and then you can work on it and heal it. But if you react or if you go into shame or stress around it, then you shove it back, right? So it's about cleaning up the energy, just like we bathe every day. We work on our energy every day. Hashtag, like that should be a hashtag. All right, so if you're new to EFT or tapping, it is a form of acupuncture without the needles. So what does that mean? It means that you're gonna tap in certain points of your body and like this, Mentioning certain things, you're just going to repeat after me. These are the points. Two fingers below your collarbone here to the side, where your bra line is at, and on the top of your head. Okay? Awesome. So I'm going to try to go slowly. Just do this video as many times as possible. And if you want to go deeper, 
I'm here, I'm your coach. I can help you with this truly and truly. Like I've seen so many different spectrums of this and I help you break through for good because you deserve to be treated right, okay? So even though I've been treated like shit in the past, that's what I heard, so I'm gonna say it. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I've stayed longer than I should have with men who haven't treated me right, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I've met men that are not qualified to be the king that I want in my life, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I felt like I have to work hard for a man's attention, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. I feel like I've had to work for love and attention all of my life. Love has never felt truly safe. Because I felt like I wasn't gonna get unconditional love. Somewhere I picked up that I had to work for love. I had to work for approval. I've had to work to be noticed. I've had to work to be celebrated. It's where the brown line eyes. I've had to work for attention and I don't like it. It has always felt like I had to compete for love. It has always felt like men had the power. And I had to get their attention. And I've been attracting people or men who don't want to give to me. Who are not emotionally present or with me. I have to do all of the work. I feel so tired and exhausted. I feel miserable sometimes. This is what I heard, men are not up to par. I feel so used. I'm attracting man babies. Men who want me to care for them. But not care for me. Men that are resentful and childish. And sometimes, for some reason, I feel like I like fighting for their attention. because it's what I know. Because I'm not used to receiving. Because I've experienced so many people not open to me in my life. But I deserve people that are open. I deserve to attract men who have the capacity to give.
men who enjoy giving. Men who are happy giving. And who don't take their frustrations out on women. I deserve to attract a man that feels good about himself. Not at an ego level, where he's just looking for a high and how to get money and feels good about those things only. But a man who feels good about himself, who loves to give, who loves a chase, who loves showing up as the right man for me. This is what I claim. This is what I allow myself to have. This is my new normal. and I allow myself to be free. I deserve to be celebrated. I deserve to be seen. I deserve to be the conquest in a good way. <laughs> I am me, I am a goddess. And I am open for love every day, more and more. I am allowing love in. I am allowing a true, mature love in. I deserve emotional and then mental and spiritual maturity in my relationships. I deserve to have fun. I deserve to receive. I deserve to feel safe in my relationships. Not constantly tested or played with. I no longer work for love. I allow myself to have more and more and more and more and more because I am truly a goddess. I work on myself. I'm truly loving. And I'm willing to have a real selfless, unconditional love. I give it. I am committing to giving true selfless, unconditional love. And to look at my stuff create a practice to be emotionally available myself and attract emotionally available men as well because I'm here to bring love to give love to receive love and to address these things from an emotionally available committed and mature way. I receive, I receive truly, and I am open for love. Whew. All right, good, let's just take a deep breath in. Whew. One more time. And one more time. Good. How are you feeling? I hope that you're feeling better. You deserve great epic love, mature, open and available love. And I hope this video helped you. And like I said at the beginning, make sure you subscribe to get more notifications on videos like this. If you have any suggestions on videos too, let me know. But also, if you want to work at this at a deep level, reach out to me. Because I've done so many different programs around this, but also I can help you release whatever stubborn energy is there, 
Whatever it is that you're conflicted in and your energy so that your feminine energy flows more. Your love vibration increases. And you can address these things um, at a spiritual level, an emotional level, but not like from an intellectual point of view, but like an embodiment. Where you come in into a room, people just love your energy. They feel your energy. They receive you with grace and excitement because that's your inherent right as a woman, as a goddess. And I would love to support you, okay? I'm going to put a link below for a free assessment call with me and you can explore working on this with me and I would love to help you. If not, keep on doing this video or if, even if you work with me, keep on doing this video and set your intentions, creating a positive momentum around attracting the love that you want. Um, this takes practice, this takes time. Allow yourself to feel good. I'm so excited to help you bridge the, the spiritual with the emotional regarding love so that you can operate in your highest um, I think it, the word is integrity, like alignment. It, the word is alignment, um, highest alignment in love and that you're flourishing in that area. All right. So it's a pleasure and I'll connect with you soon.